What's up guys, Jake Sleesman, Blue Collar Outdoors, and today we got right here a very intriguing lead pattern test. Stay tuned. Alright guys, so we have the Infinity Stones, if you will. They are very hard to find. The family of three. Indian Creek. We got a 555. We got a 570. We have a 562. We got Long Beard XR. What we're fixing to do is put this in my Beretta and compare these three with a lead option. It's going to be a lot more of these going. I know a lot of people ask about Indian Creeks, which one they should get, all that fun stuff. So we're going to be doing a lot more of these in pretty much every gauge we can. Um, but the load itself is a 20 gauge, three inch, thousand feet per second, ounce and a quarter of fives. Now, personally, when I was hunting with a 20 gauge in lead, I used Winchester double X fives. It was the best pattern. Actually, I don't even think I patterned my gun back then. I just went and killed turkeys. I remember your pattern. I missed the target. There was like one I bevel. missed. There was one BB. <laughs> yes, yeah, because I missed. <laughs> So I'm curious to see which Indian Creek will pattern this the best in my Beretta. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do common sense. We're gonna start with a 555, go to the 562, then the 570. We're only gonna break down the setup once because you don't really need to break it down every single time. So, so once again, I do have my X-Core in. I really like these, uh, especially for filming because I can still hear moose and I can still protect my ears. Filming complicates everything. All right. You starting left target working your way to the right still. You betcha. All right. All right. I don't remember what I'm zero to with this setup. I know it's not this. So I'm just going to put waddles like I always do. Uh, we have the 555 Indian Creek in my Beretta A300 20 gauge. We got Longbeard XR, ounce and a quarter of fives. And uh, we're going to shoot. We're at 40 yards. The only thing that's going to change is the choke constriction and probably the point of impact, but we will see. So let's get right to it. You tell me when. Fire whenever you're ready. I like that. It looks like it's shooting high. It looks like... Uh, it looks bad. Yeah, I don't... I don't know if it's high or not, but it looks like every pellet on there avoided the turkey's head and neck. I wonder. Hmm. There might be one in the kill zone, but the rest of them look like it kind of outlines the turkey. It just looks like it shot really high. I've never shot lead in this gun, so it's going to be a completely different. It looks like my Stevens. I've never shot lead in that either. That's what I was worried about, because lead seems to shoot completely different point of impact, and I haven't shot mm -hmm. it in this, so... I'm just going to hold the exact same aiming point. It might just be that bad. It might be way too tight for them five. It could be. All right. So we got the 562 in. I'm going to hold the exact same aim point. So that way it's all set well, even to each other. I was holding waddles on that. It looks like it shot high right. But we'll do the same with the 562 right now. Tell me when. I'm good. It looks like you're about the same. That looks like garbage. <laughs> None of them look good yet. Jesus. <laughs> what the hell, man? I, I must just be high. Hopefully it's just got a really good core over it. But I don't know. My God. People shoot this? Seems like a waste of my, my barrel's life. All right, so now we're threading in the 570 in hopes that it's a savior because none of these look good so far. But then again, it looks like it's shooting high. Um, like I said, I'm just going to keep the same aim point. Now we got the 570. <laughs> this is the ticket right here. It ain't TSS, I tell you that. You're on them. Yep. That one looks like it's high left. None of those look good though. You want to put one more target up and shoot them. 
I hope. I hope. Tight wad. I don't think it's the Indian Creek at all. I think it's the Long Beard. Could be. That stuff. If that's, I don't know. It's hit or miss anymore. I'm hoping that's just the bottom of the core because usually Longbeard XR, what we know and love, the older boxes seem to be just a tight circle. Didn't matter if it was 20 or 12. But this looks like every one of them shot. It looks like the 555 shot high right, the 562 shot high, and the 570 shot high left. But there's only one way to find out. Okay, so we're going to go down and scribble them and hope that it's just high and doesn't look good. Let's get to it. Yeah, you don't say that. All right. So that was Winchester Longbeard XR. Ounce and a quarter fives going a thousand feet per second at 40 yards to the tip of the choke with not only the 555, but the 562 and the 570 Indian Creek in my Beretta A300. Let's look at the 555 first, shall we? Um, hmm. well, I don't really have to say much here. Uh, Longbeard XRs went down big time since I last remember. I know we've shot, when we first started the pattern series, Longbeard XR was still holding its own, as you will. Uh, not really, but kind of barely holding on against TSS in the sub gauges, but this is just atrocious. I mean, oh, wow. It, oh. this bird is alive. Um, it's, a, it, there, there's, it's really hard to even fathom that this is a pattern that we're analyzing right now with Longbeard XR, you know what I mean? I mean, it, it's always been good. I know there's been some bad lots recently. The newer stuff has not been as good as the older stuff. But with a 555, it's like way blown out. I, th I think the core is maybe these little gathering. I'm not, I really have no clue. You see these 10 little guys right here? That's the core. It's hot. But this is just atrocious. I mean, I think we're going to have to do this test again with double X. That is what I've seen uh, or at least that's what I hunted with with lead and 20 gauge. This Longbeard XR, as you see as we go across here, is just not well. But this is the 555. It's blown wide open. I hope Moose zoomed in and showed this magnificent portrait of pattern. Uh, let's go to the 562. I could do the same thing with my... Now this is the 562. We did achieve impact in the vitals. There's two in the brain, but guys, do not shoot. If this is your pattern, do not shoot at 40 yards. I mean, as you can tell, it is high, but if you, this is still awful. Like this is not good. This is like, I'm upset right now because this is the 562 with the same load. I mean, there's not really much to say. It, it, I, I think the core is here a little bit over, but there's a ton of flyers. There's no real pattern density to even be to speak on. There is ginormous voids. Actually, it's more of a void than a pattern, but I just, this crazy thing is if we would have done this same test with these three chokes with nines TSS, uh, every one of them would be killing turkeys. It'd just be nitpicking. But this is the difference with lead and TSS. I mean, TSS just changed the game. You, you come back to these lead tests and you see this, it's like, man, it just stings. But this looks to be a, the best pattern, which is crazy, out of these three. And it's just not good. I mean, it's crazy the difference between TSS and lead, it really is. And as you'll see in the 570 here, let's just go right to that. This is the 570. Okay. Um, it looks like it's high left. I think the course here, but still it's blown wide open. Tons of flyers. And I actually in sharpening this, if Moose, you want to zoom in right here, you can see that is a piece of lead. That's the shot in the, in the, in the paper. It's right there. I'm going to push it down in for a little bit more penetration. There yeah, we go. See it. You listening? Yeah, that's that's lead. It made it in like three pieces of paper. And uh, 
you don't see that with TSS, that's for sure. But it's just none of these pattern good, not one of them. I mean, there isn't a, you couldn't pay me to take these in the woods, not, not a single one of them. I was thinking that the 562 in this test was going to be lights out, then the 570 would be second, and then the 555 would do exactly what it did, blew it way open. I guess maybe I'm right, the 562 might be the better of the three, but it's not impressive at all. It's, we're going to have to do this test with a bunch of different lead loads to see if we can find better performance than this. I know Longbeard XR has been having problems, but so first you see the 570 here, not good, not good at all. Then you got the 562 with our shadows right there and this gobbler would still be gobbling well he might he's yeah. dead but i don't shoot that at 40. then you have the 555 and it's just all of them are not good we're going to be doing this with double x i have a bunch of different lead loads and 20 gauge we're going to do these kind of tests different choke constrictions figure out what we can find for lead to be really effective at 40 yards and a 20 gauge i mean 12 gauge it's not so challenging because there's enough shot there to still kill and uh, but we i do want to get to a lot as many wow i do want to get to as many lead tests as we can because we can't film that when we first start because when it gets cold it springs really bad lead versus tss it's just it's really hard to compare the two that's the crazy thing with tss you can get these fives you can shoot nines tss have the same impact as this and just Actually, I think it's a little bit more than fives. I've never seen any TSS in paper, and we shoot a lot of it. That's that's a first. I mean, that was only one pellet, so maybe it, I don't know what was going on there, but this is just not good. Guys, for those of you that shoot lead, drop your comments below. Let me know what your setups are for a 40-yard pattern. If you even shoot to 40 with a 20-gauge, you keep them under. Now, where I shoot birds, these probably would be okay, but... At 40 yards, it's not very good. And if you're putting patterns like this on paper, I don't care if you're zero to it or not, please do not take those shots on wild turkeys if your pattern is these. Please, you owe it to the animal to give them an ethical clean kill, not be unloading at them, and not be wounding turkeys to die off later. Please, it, get your pattern down, know your setup, know your capabilities, your limitations, what it can do, know it. You owe it to the animal we pursue. I would not take any of these in the woods. I would not rely on the golden pellet method, ever. But guys, we got a lot more lead tests coming. This one was really dis depressing. I, I thought this was gonna be a lot better. Um, but you never know until you put it on paper. We got a lot more lead to do. A lot more chokes to do, a lot more guns to do. So as always, smash the thumbs up button for your boys. Drop your comments below. Let us know what you thought of the performance. I don't even know if I can call this performance. But let us know what you thought. What If you've had issues with Longbeard... Wow, can't even say it anymore. If you've had issues with Longbeard XR as of late, I know I've heard a lot of problems with the 20 gauge, and I'm seeing it here. Maybe it's just a bad lot, I hope. But let us know. Subscribe if you're new. <sighs> this is not the kind of test you want to end on. I can tell you that. This just sucks. But as always, Jake Sleesman, Blue Collar Outdoors. Turn your notification bells to on. We got a ton of different content coming. It ain't going to be boring, that's for sure. You're going to have broadhead tests, pattern tests, shot penetration tests, waterfowl pattern tests, client pattern tests, all that good stuff. We got a ton coming. We'll catch you on the next one.